We are just days away from Super Bowl 54 in Miami. The Kansas City Chiefs and the 49ers preparing to go head to head on Sunday. Many Arkansans might be rooting for Kansas City to win the Super Bowl 54 on Sunday simply because of proximity. Yeah, around here, but there's an Arkansas connection to the big game. For that story, we bring in 4029's Jordan Black. Hey guys, yeah, hey. he's a former Fayetteville Purple Dog turned hog turned pro and in his first year in the league Dre Greenlaw is set to make a Super Bowl appearance with the San Francisco 49ers this Sunday. The story of the linebacker is one you can't even script but Dre's family says they always knew it'd be written this way. That was insane. We were all freaking out when we found out he was going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I think it's safe to say it would be pretty insane to watch your brother play on football's biggest stage. That's AJ, Cameron, and Nancy Early, Dre's sisters, and mom. His dad, the defensive line coach at Houston, and on the road recruiting ahead of the big trip to the Sunshine State. He wasn't just a foster kid. He was, he was our son. He was family. He was big brother. After nearly seven years of calling Dre, who had previously lived in a boy's home, their son, the Earlies officially adopted Greenlaw in July of 2018. Less than two years later, Congratulations to the San Francisco 49ers. They are on to the Super Bowl. He has such an amazing work ethic. We've always said if he gets the opportunity, um, there's no question that he's going to make it. More than make it, Miami bound for Super Bowl 54. He just he performs well under pressure, and there's no bigger pressure than being a, a rookie in the NFL. Wilson pressure off the edge, releases it, and it is intercepted by Greenlaw. He also, you know, is really good about taking every opportunity that is given to him. So, you know, this is a big opportunity for him, and he's not going to waste it. It's an opportunity the former Fayetteville Purple Dog and Arkansas Razorback doesn't take lightly, nor one he takes selfishly. He'll send a text and say, you know, I never would have made it here without you. And I say, that's crazy. You absolutely would have made it. I mean, I certainly hope that um, being a part of his life has made that easier for him. You know, um, we just wanted him to always feel supported um, like every kid deserves. Nancy and Brian will support Dre from the stands in Hard Rock Stadium on Sunday. His sister is cheering from Houston. I just think of it as being the most proud of him. So I don't really think of it as bragging. I just think it's being proud because he's my brother. Okay, guys, so I know. How sweet are <laughs> so they? So sweet. And how sweet has Dre's rookie season been? Yeah. 64 tackles to date, plus that interception that we saw, um, a big one that at awesome. that. Yes. I know, and you had an enjoyable time just talking with the family, and they had some pretty incredible memories to share. I know, I could have talked to them all afternoon. <laughs> the other day they were so sweet, but Cameron, the, the little one that you just saw, she said her favorite memory from this season is the pick off Russell Wilson. That was okay. week 11. Yeah. So she loved that, or week that. 10, rather, week 10. And then she said, you know, a new memory could be a Super Bowl ring. <laughs> Dre has made big promises. He wants to be MVP and then take the girls to Disney World. I love Aww. that. Right? That's All right, see, cool. if you don't have any loyalty, we were saying earlier, I mean, there's your guy. There's your team yeah. to root for, right? For so. sure. <laughs> Jordan, thanks for that story. Thank you, Jordan. Good story.